CPI inflation cooled to an annual 3.3% in August, in what economists say will boost chances of another rate cut from the Reserve Bank. The main drivers for this slowdown include food inflation, which went down to 5.2% in August from 5.5% in July. Price changes for vegetables and nuts as well as the fruit categories also moderated compared to the previous month. But higher price changes in the housing and utilities category were recorded due to the price increases in electricity, gas and other fuel category as well as water supply category. Higher price changes were also recorded in the meat category in what experts say is due to the effects of factors such as the foot and mouth disease on livestock. We had a period of favorable rainfall which supported uh, production conditions and now we are starting to see a benefit of that uh, big harvest. If you think about our grain production, it is up by plus 20% just the harvest compared to last year. And we see encouraging numbers as well on the fruits and the vegetables. And these are the benefits uh, of that. The one product that many are also observing is mid-price inflation. And of course, mid-price inflation increased uh, further in August compared to the past month. The core issue within the mid-price inflation aspect has been the food and mouth disease as well as uh, the poultry aspect. And within the, the, the food and mouth disease, it affected our beef industry. Economists say the lower inflation environment will support chances of another interest rate cut going forward. The bottom line is that inflation remains quite benign, even though we foresee a slight increase in inflation in the coming months. At some stage, this benign inflation will give scope for the Reserve Bank to give further interest rate relief. However, it's quite difficult to pinpoint the timing of such relief, especially given the Reserve Bank's new goal to anchor inflation and inflation expectations around the floor rather than the midpoint of its 3-6% to inflation target. A Bureau for Economic Research survey shows that inflation is expected to average 3.8% this year and 4.2% next year. Gloria Safago Musi, SABC News, Johannesburg.